Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about difference uh, you know, between where and if statements in SAS programming. So in SAS programming, we have raw data and when you write a program to read any raw data, it passes through various uh, steps uh, like input data set, it passed through the input buffer first and from input buffer, it go to the program data vector and program data vector, it goes to the output buffer and then from output buffer and output data set is actually generated and one records at a time. So if you have two records here in our raw data, it will this, uh, you know, cycle pass twice actually and one by one record is actually recorded in output data set. So this PDV is in a logical memory area of the program and also like input and output buffer. So where statements always applied when your data values are not entered into the PDV. So that means, you know, before reading that value in PDV, your where statements is applied. And if you are putting any conditions using where statements, so it that's why where statements is very fast when you compare to the if statements. So if statements applied after, you know, data is actually read uh, in PDV and after that any subsetting or any condition is actually applied. So that's why if statements is, you know, a little slower when you compare to where statements. So for example, if I want to subset, uh, you know, a data set here giving a condition, I am uh, like height is equal to 61. So if you put condition where height is equal to 61, so data value only where height is six, uh, you know, equal to 61 will enter into PDV. And that's why an output data set will be generated accordingly. But if you are using if statement where height is equal to 61, then both the records will go to the PDV and after that subsetting will occurs actually and your data where height is only 61 uh, equal to 61 will be uh, came out from the output buffer so this is very uh, you know uh, important to understand that where statement is always applied before the data enter into the pdv and if statements are applied when data entered into the ptv and is applied after that so I will go through the uh, real programming and show you like where we have to use where statement, where we have to use if statement and where we can, uh, can use either if or where statement both. So first of all, I will explain uh, a conditions where no difference between where and if statement. So this, uh, you know, situation where and if statements can be interchangeably can be used. For example, using a variable in a data set for example here I have a data set here exam and this data set has three variables name class and scores and I'm giving a condition here uh, for example if name is equal to Tim or name is equal to Sally so I'm giving two condition here so I'm using if statement here so if you run this program it will give you the output you can see that it will give you the output where name is equal to either Tim or Sally. If you will use where statement instead of if statement, it will give you the same result actually. So let me run this program and turn off this statement. So when you run this program, you will get the same result. You know, six records are there and name is equal to Tim or name is equal to Sally. So no difference is found here. Though similarly, if you are using like set statements for concatenating, you know, any values, there is no difference between these two uh, statements. But for merge and updates, ideally there are no difference, but you have to look that what is your needed for your output data set. Uh, you know, based on that, you will decide. I will explain you in my last uh, uh, example that how you have to handle if or where statements when you are merging your data set. So this is uh, important and first condition uh, where no difference, uh, you know, is found between where and if statements while subsetting your data set. So second situation is like that, uh, accessing a raw data file. So second situation, uh, 
I am going to where you must use if condition. So you cannot use where statement here. So first situation is like uh, when you are accessing any raw data file using input statement. So here I'm. This is intrinsic, uh, you know, uh, data uh, sets and all the data values are actually incorporated in program itself. So if you are using input statement here, you cannot use where statement. So for example, I have the data records here already. And if you run this program, this program will run well and it will give you the output. The Tim and Sally name only uh, will come out, but uh, other values will be uh, eliminated. Uh, from the records so but if you will use where statement here for example i am using where statement it will show you error it will not be accepted by sas so you can see that you know you will see no input uh, data set variables for where statement so you have to remember that when you are accessing raw data using input statement you must use if statements only you cannot use where statement so second situations where you have to use if statements only is using automatic variables for example n underscore n underscore or first uh, by, uh, by variables or last by variables for example this is a data set you know the same data set uh, using the input i am not giving conditions here so i am sorting this data set because i have to give you know first and last uh, based on the name so you must uh, sort your data before processing that so otherwise your program will not work so here i am using like you know if first name so i am interested in for the first name which is uh, coming uh, you know in the data set so you have to use if uh, statement here you cannot use where statement so when i will run this program you will see that the first record of the name will only appear so there are three names where in the original data set and the first record will you know subset uh, here so this is how it works actually so only the data sets where if conditions applied if you will use where statement here for example i am writing where statement and i will show you like it will not work it will show you some error actually you can see that you know where clause syntax error while you know press uh, parsing where clause so this will show you error actually you must use if statement here you cannot use where statement so this is the second situations where you are using automatic you know variables you must use if statement so third situation is that using newly created variables so suppose if you are creating any new variables for example i'm creating here if class is maths class number is equal to one so this is a new variable class num is new variable and if i'm giving uh, using a new variables in giving a condition using this new variable i must use if statement if you are using where statement it will not work so you can see here like this is the third situation if you will run this program you can see that you know the class num2 is actually selected this is you know new newly created variable so if you will use where statement in newly created variable it will show you error actually in your log and program will not work so you must use if statements when you are creating any new variables you know and you are applying conditions uh, using that new variable so this is you uh, must remember that in these situation you must use if statements so there are few things where you have to use where condition only you cannot use if statement here so for example using special operators for example like or contents for example here i am giving a conditions where name is equal to uh, starting with the t or uh, you know contents li that means at the end so if you will use this program it will work because it will select the data set where name started with the t and or uh, end with a l l y so this is how a subset is generated so here you must use where uh, you know a statement you cannot use if a statement here and the third one you know directly using any procedure in sas procedure so for example i am using proc print procedure here to print 
uh, my data set so if i am using name is equal to tim or name is equal to sally it will work because this is a procedure a sas procedure steps and it will work for example a result is printed here a report is generated and whatever the condition i applied that works here so this is if you will use you know if a statement in sas procedure it will not work it will show you error actually so in any procedure you have to you know use where statement even for the proxy sql i will explain you later in my program that even for the proxy sql you always use where statement not if statement and other thing you have to remember that uh, when you are merging any data set as i explained you earlier that you have to be careful uh, when you are merging so based on whatever is needed you have to think very logically for example i have two data sets here so one data set is a school and other is school data so you can see that uh, there are three records here in each data set and i am planning to merge these data set and i am merging it by name and giving a conditions here like where a score is equal to 10 so what will happen if you will use where statement so subset will happen before merging so you know before merging all the uh, scores where values are 10 will be uh, subsetted actually and then it will merge after that so let me run this program it will be easy to explain so you will get this result you know three records are there a b and c and the score is equal to 10 so here you know subsetting is done before merging because i am using where statement so what will happen when you will use if statement so if statement it will subset after the merging so for example if i will run this program you will get only you know one records here so this is because the subsetting uh, you know was done after the merging so you have to be careful you know when you are merging your data set uh what kind of output you are needed you have to think accordingly and you have to use if or where statements carefully so i hope you like this video and please like uh, my channel and uh, comments and if you have any questions about programming so just let me know and thank you very much for watching